Uh, absolutely. And it's so easily debunked. It's simply false that thousands of dead people voted. It is false that there were thousands of ballot signature signatures that were uh, fake. It's also false that Dominion voting machines switched thousands of votes. None of this is true. And all Republican leaders have to do is to say that the election was not stolen. And yeah. if they do that, then they can calm down tension. All you have to do is submit, Congressman Ted Lieu says. All you have to do is bend the knee, say everything you said was wrong, and then we can have unity until we need you to bend the knee again and admit that you're wrong on something else. Why isn't that working better? I, I don't understand. Why, why isn't it uh, really bringing everybody together? Gee, I don't know. Ted? Maybe some people still have questions and they don't trust Democrats who lied about the last election for four years and still do to this day. Right? They still continue with this nonsense. But it's something that the left wants to hear. They want to believe, the Democrats want to believe that they have extended a hand to the other side and we're the ones who are slapping it away. The Democrats want to believe that uh, it, it is conservatives who are being unreasonable in this whole process and are adding fuel to the fire of our political discontent. And the Democrats are just being great, open-minded, patriotic Americans who, you know, come on. We, we see what's really happening. They're putting people on TV night after night, day after day, who are saying that Trump Terrorists are more dangerous than Al Qaeda. We played that audio for you yesterday. They're actually saying this stuff that we should increase the surveillance state to look at Trump voters. And that, that we should scan the National Guard. We should vet National Guard members for Trumpian sympathies. I'm not exaggerating. Here, here you go. MSNBC, some guy who used to be a senior FBI official, if that's not terrifying enough. Uh, Figliuzzi, here he is, play 13. As more and more evidence develops, Andrea, that there were active and former military and police within that insurrectionist crowd, I think this is a very valid precautionary measure. But I want to, I want to also caution that this not be some false sense of security. Well, everyone has been checked out by the FBI. Let's understand something, and we learned it painfully during the insurrection. The signs of radicalization really are not that someone has a criminal record or that someone is on a terrorist watch list, but rather that they have online postings that indicate radicalization and an intention for violence. The FBI doesn't have those kinds of resources, nor do they have a time, uh, the time frame in this race against the clock to check out 25,000 people's social media postings, nor may they even have the legal authority to do so. That's my concern. I just want to point out that this, was, this has been widely reported. Oh, I should say, this should have been widely reported. It has been reported, but not nearly enough. Hashtag Kill Mike Pence was trending for a while on Twitter recently. Okay? That was a hashtag on Twitter. And I just want to, do you, do you think the FBI is going to track down all those people? Do you, do you think they're all going all to face prosecution for uh, a threat against a federal official in interstate commerce? No, they are not. Oh, wow, it's almost like there's a huge double standard here. Political violence is something the left excelled in through all of 2020. But there was one incident that they can attribute to the right at the Capitol building after the election in the beginning of 2021. And we're supposed to forget who was burning down buildings all summer. We're supposed to forget who was rioting, attacking police. Attacking a federal courthouse is also an attack on our system. For example, yeah, I know it's not the Capitol building, but it's also, you know, not an outhouse in the middle of a field somewhere that no one cares about. It's a federal building. They tried to light it on fire in Portland, but you don't you don't see any effort to. Oh, no, Antifa is just an idea. They say it's not even a movement. It's not even a real thing. They're not scanning people's social media enough. What what what'll get you? Uh, what'll get you? Tossed off social media. What'll get you in trouble these days? You already know. You can't say the election was stolen, which is that that is First Amendment protected speech. But you can't say it. If you do, they'll take action against you. And how far a leap is it from you are now kicked off social media to you are now on the radar? I, I just have to remind you of this. They used informants 
They used agents, uh, you know, pe- people acting on behalf of the government to go after George Papadopoulos, and they used FISA warrants on Carter Page. What, what was that all about? Trying to get after Trump and go after Trump people. But those are completely absurd, fabricated cases. You don't th- and they paid no real penalty for this. A few people, the FBI lost their jobs or their pensions. Nobody went to prison. Andy McCabe, former acting FBI director, lied about it. No real consequences for him. So what's the message? What's the lesson? More importantly, what's the lesson that we take from this? They can get away with stuff like this. But now they're, they're bringing pressure. They're mobilizing all across society for the suppression of what you could say is Trumpist ideas. Okay, they're, they're trying to destroy Trumpist ideas, not even just repudiate Trump the man. And so what are you even allowed to say online? Are you allowed to say that the Russia collusion investigation was a hoax? I'm saying it. But is that now is that do independent fact checkers disagree with me? They're going to shut that down, too. They're going to rewrite the history. In fact, they're even telling us they plan to rewrite our history. Play 16. They will not write their history. We will write their history and their shame will last forever. They are carved like like they are carved like etching into granite, granite onto history's list of villains in this country. Mark Meadows, Lindsey Graham, Kevin McCarthy, Josh Hawley, Ted Cruz, Mo Brooks, and too many more to mention. There will be no forgetting. There will be no forgiveness. We do not seek retribution, but we do seek accountability and justice for an assault and attack on the government of the United States of America that killed six people. And for the first time in the history of our country, some 150 years after the end of the Civil War, the Confederate flag at long last reached the United States Capitol and was paraded through the rotunda as this illiberal fascistic mob desecrated the floors of the House of Representatives and the Senate. They don't get to rewrite what happened. I want to be very clear. They do seek retribution. Don't forget that. Hey, Team Buck, thank you so much for watching The First on YouTube. If you like this video, please click that little thumbs up button so then it will log as liked. And also, if you want to see more great content from The First, please click subscribe.